In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents with links to the different sections in your document. So I have one of my blog posts up here in Word 2010, and how I'm going to start this is, as you can see, I have each section in bold. So I'm going to copy, so control C, and let's add some room here. So table of contents. And I'm just going to number this with a, a numbered bullets. So introduction, pages versus profiles, getting started. And you can easily add to this if you're not quite done with your document. It's just important to have them in order. And just scrolling down to find the next heading. Okay, I'm not quite to the end yet. And image dimensions. All right. So I have uh, my table of contents here. And now, I need to create bookmarks throughout my document. So I'm going to highlight a section here, and then I'm going to go up to Insert, and I'm going to choose Bookmark. And I want to name this something um, easily identifiable because I'm going to need to link it. And if you have chapters or numbered sections, it, it, that's a really helpful way to organize this because it's going to put them in alpha. Uh, alphabetic or numeric order. So if you have a ton of, um, of sections, that could be very helpful for you. Um, for this one, I only have six, so I'm just going to choose introduction and add that. And uh, I'll do the second one because it's a little bit different. So again, highlight my the area that I want to uh, create a bookmark in. Click on bookmark. So, pages, um, and it doesn't allow spaces, so you'll need to use underscores or some other type of character. Pro oops, profiles. And you can just copy and paste in there, I just didn't. Okay, so once you're done doing that to all of them, you're going to want to go up to uh, the corresponding uh, area in the table of contents, highlight it, and then go up to hyperlink. Um, now, I want to go to a place in this document, and you can see here it is right there. So, text to display introduction, and then that matches with introduction. So, I'll click OK, and there it is. Same goes for this one hyperlink, pages versus profiles. Okay, and then so on. And then usually you want to maybe space this out a little bit. And then put the rest of this on page two. There we go. So now, see, if you want to follow the link, all you do is press control and you click and it takes you right there. And something else you can do is you can create one uh, that says back. Uh, T-O-C. So that'll take you... Oh. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally screwed that up. <laughs> I did that backwards. So that's what we want to TOC home is what I'm going to name that. So now that we're here, we want to insert a hyperlink TOC home. So you can click to go to the introduction and click to go back. So that might be something that you want to add to each section. So when you skip there, you can always go back 
to the table of contents. And this is great if you're sending a, a document to a client or, um, you know, it just, it just makes things a lot easier. So thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog at sallyu.com and have a great day.